Ambassador Robert D. Blackwell is the Henry A. Kissinger Senior Fellow for U.S. Foreign Policy at the Council on Foreign Relations in New York City and a distinguished scholar at John Hopkins University School of Advanced International Studies in Washington, D.C. He is a former Deputy National Security Advisor at the White House, where he worked for three presidents. He has served as presidential envoy to Iraq and as U.S. Ambassador to India. He received the Commander's Cross of the Order of Merit by the Federal Republic of Germany for his contribution to German unification and the Padma Bhushan Award from the Government of India for distinguished service of a high order. A former Peace Corps volunteer in Malawi and a Harvard University faculty member for 14 years, Robert is also the author of many books and articles. His latest book, War by Other Means, Geoeconomics and Stagecraft, published by Harvard University Press, was named a Best Foreign Policy Book of 2016 by Foreign Affairs. He is a jazz enthusiast with more than 10,000 songs in his collection and an amateur landscape photographer. Hello, everybody. I'm speaking with you from the Council on Foreign Relations in New York City, and I'm delighted to be with you even uh, through this artificial means. I'm deeply regretful I'm not there in Wichita, uh, but uh, I've had a, a very long-standing commitment to chair a meeting here in New York of U.S. and China experts to discuss the future of world order and what the two countries might do to try to re-establish uh, some stability uh, around the globe. So I'm not there, but I regret it. I wish I was. Uh, let me say a bit about my experience at uh, WSU. Uh, it was, of course, more than 50 years ago, but this honor that uh, has been bestowed on me, of course, uh, has led me to go back to those days and remember. And uh, I can say with some conviction that I have no negative memories about my time at the university. Uh, I uh, would point out just uh, two dimensions of it, uh, one more elevated than the other. Uh, I uh, received terrific teaching when I was there. I'll just mention two professors and uh, how they contributed to my uh, further career. First, Kelly Sowards, uh, the legendary history teacher. I took first a course on the ancient world and then others. And he ignited my interest in history. He was a wonderful teacher. As some of you know, he was a, a, a expert on Erasmus, the Dutch 16th century philosopher, perhaps the, the father of humanism. And uh, Kelly Sowards was a humanist. He took all the time in the world with students, including with me, and I was not, at least at the outset, uh, much of a student. I became somewhat better as time passed. But my love of history, which Kelly Sowers began, uh, has lasted through a career in the diplomatic service and in strategic affairs. And I owe an enormous debt to him. The other professor was the distinguished American poet, Bruce Cutler, who uh, began my interest in uh, the world of poetry and ideas. Uh, he uh, taught a course in the Romantic Poets, which I took, and he was the first one to introduce me to the notion that uh, each word matters in a sentence, in a sentence of poetry or a sentence of prose. And uh, he began, without any doubt, the development of my writing style, which again uh, has been an important part of my life. So the teaching I received there, and I could name others uh, who were uh, equally influential on me. So that's one category I wanted to mention. The other is simply, lest I seem uh, too somber here, uh, I spent a lot of time uh, playing competitive tennis, which was a great joy at the time, although I uh, lost probably more than I won. 
and at the Cedars Bar, where, which I closed uh, many a night after last call. But as I say, the university has uh, been a big part of the development of my professional life. The university has uh, made me to some considerable degree what I am today professionally. And uh, without that, uh, I'm uh, pretty sure that I would have uh, been doing something pretty menial uh, around uh, uh, Kansas uh, without the interest in the world that the uh, WSU uh, began for me. So again, I'm very uh, disappointed not to be there. I wish you all uh, the best and go Shockers.